Western Ukraine has always been part and parcel of Poland. Uh, after World War I, and historically, the Ukraine was never really part of its own national character. It, ne- it had a certain cultural determinant, but never a geographical determinant. After World War I, the Western Ukraine was part of Poland. It fought Poland and wanted to be part of Eastern Ukraine, which was also part of Russia. So you have the Eastern Ukraine, which is Russian, and the Western Ukraine. But the real issue in the Ukraine right now is not democracy versus the EU or uh, Russia versus the United States. What it really is, is the Ukraine has no more money. And because of the corruption that occurred, and because of our failure in the Orange Revolution about 10 years ago, and I don't fault us for that, it just turned out not to be as successful as we thought it was, meaning that we were able to bring a liberal democracy in there, but in turn, Putin was able to reverse it. The real issue at hand is about $15 billion worth of debt that has to be serviced and that the EU is not willing to put up, neither is America, and that Putin said to the Ukrainian president, Yavichenko, look, I will collect all your debts, but in turn... I will give you cheaper oil, but you must maintain the integrity of my oil pipelines into Europe. That's the real issue at hand. What happened with Assistant Secretary Newland, this woman who said, uh, uh, Akfei Yufei to Europe, was nothing more than a very childish, uh, impish attempt on an open phone to show the world that America was involved in really having strategy and in being involved in an aggressive anti-Russian campaign. The reality is quite different. We're okay. not very effective. So, so in Sorry? your opinion, her her statement made on an open phone was really sending a message to to the world. It was sending a Pardon. message, but it was childish. It mm-hmm. was inappropriate, mm-hmm. and it was not consistent with our uh, our our ability to maintain a diplomatic presence and at the main at the same time manipulate the parties involved. She is not, I believe, Korea Foreign Service, although she states she's Korean Foreign Service. But her background, her actions belie that. And it seems to me that she may belong to another part of our government. I don't want to announce which part, but she had been Vice President Cheney's chief of staff, <laughs> along with many other neocons, and her husband, Mr. Kagan, is a famous neocon. So I think she went off on her own as the assistant secretary for Europe and really belied our, uh, any sense of strategy and tactics. You do not allow yourself to be compromised that way or even send a signal that way. It's gauche, it's, it's childish, and the Russians will handle you with counterforce. So I felt that it was totally inappropriate. I think John Kerry, if he's an effective Secretary of State, and I'm not sure he is, he should dismiss her and fire her. But that's my personal opinion and profession. I thought it was pretty amazing, the reaction from the White House chief spokesman, uh, Jay Carney, says it's something about Russia. It says something about Russia that they would tap a telephone call. I mean, <laughs> the insanity of that. <laughs> it's like you can hear the entire world laughing that they would make a statement like that. We'll have the conclusion of that interview tomorrow night on the InfoWars Nightly News. It's a perspective from someone who spent decades in the intelligence community. Don't miss it. Join us at 7 Central, 8 p.m. Eastern.